Deep Down Cleaning. Your one-stop cleaning outfit for Deep Down Results. John Morth, Gavin Watt, uh, uh, selected by the Moncton Wildcats in the 2018 Quebec Major Junior Hockey League draft. It's been over a week now, Gavin. Again, congratulations. But uh, tell me about the, the, the emotions of the day once you heard your name called. Uh, thank you very much. And it was, it was unbelievable. And it's just an amazing feeling just to be there with mom and dad. And it just takes a big chest off your back. And it just feels great to hear your name called there. What do you remember you can, sitting alongside mom and dad? What do you remember about that? Uh, I can just remember my mom sitting there crying and just standing up and hugging her. It was just one of the amazing feelings of my life. And walking down to that table, uh, thoughts running through your head? Just so many people there and the lights shining everywhere. And you just wait for that day and it just it makes it amazing once you get there. Once you got to the table, once you got there, what, what, uh, who welcomed you and, and what was said? Were there any messages? Uh, Andre was there to welcome me with a big smile on his face to give, his, to give me my jersey and my hat and uh, just shook his hand. I just said thank you very much for, for selecting me here today and it just it feels great. Well, we were very comfortable taking Glavin Watt in the seventh round. We saw him as an energy player, great speed, a uh, kid who wasn't afraid to go into the dirty areas on the ice uh, with a little bit of touch around the net. And, and we saw him as the season went on, he, he got more and more confidence, was able to you know get into various situations and did real well with them. And then we were fortunate enough to have him at the under-16 challenge in Quebec. And uh, he, he acquitted himself very, very well. And we were, and, and you know it was, it was a pretty easy decision for us because he fits exactly the type of uh, high tempo play that we're looking to have in the next few years among them. You'll be working hard getting ready for that, uh, that Wildcats camp. What is the opportunity he has from your perspective? Well, the good part about what he's going to bring to the table is he's going to go in with a lot of, uh, we'll say, high energy, and he's going to be a bit of a pest, and he's going to have to make sure uh, that, he, that he's on his game at all times, and he's going to make sure that other people are on their game at all times. And, and to be honest with you, if he's able to get in and show what he can do with his hockey ability, not just have to worry about you know the, the things he brings other, other than that, but you know he might surprise some people and might get a longer look than a lot of people think he will. And if he doesn't... Uh Crack the roster if he's back in Cole Harbor. Tell me what the player you're expecting to be in your lineup. Well, there's no question he'll be a very key contributor to our lineup. Uh, you know, a second-year kid coming in uh, with, with again, his, his hockey attributes and his off-ice attributes. He's a great kid. He, he, he's very excitable, a good dressing room guy. Uh, be counted on for all kinds of leadership. And, and with our group coming in this next season coming up, we're going to rely a lot on our older guys to kind of teach those guys the, the, the way of the world, if you will, and he's going to be very counted on for that. Now the work begins. Camp is in August. Uh, tell me about the, the preparation that you're going to need to do in order to be ready when that camp opens. Uh, yeah, I'll be training four days a week at 360 Fit with Bobby Peterson, and then uh, Monday, Friday, and Saturday, I'll just be kind of doing my own thing at home, working on my stick handling and my shot and my, uh, my sprinting ability just to get bigger, faster, anything to get ready for August. First round picks go to camp uh, looking to, to lock up a spot, uh, feeling pretty good, but they have to earn it. Uh, you're a seventh round pick. Tell me about your 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 objective as you head to camp. Uh, picks mean nothing. It's uh, everyone going into camp, working for their spot. Everybody's got to work there. And uh, I'm just going into camp looking to surprise some faces and show anyone that I can do anything. The player that you would like to become in that Moncton lineup eventually, it, it's going to take some work, but uh, what, what What's the player that you would like to eventually become in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League? I would definitely like to become a top six uh, forward that can score. Um, I do have a scoring ability. Uh, this year wasn't my greatest, but uh, next year I really hope to improve over the summer and through the season, hopefully with the Moncton Wildcats, and uh, definitely become a scorer. And what, what do you have to work on? What do you need to continue to work on to, to get to that, that player you want to be? Uh, definitely my puck protection, working low in the corners, just especially on those bigger guys, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys, and just working in the net and putting it in the net. And finally, it sounds like the Moncton Wildcats is a perfect fit in many ways for, for Gavin Watt. Well, why so? Uh, it's nice and close to home. Mom and Dad can come to every game, and uh, it's such a great organization that I'm proud to be a part of, and I just can't wait to get things started there.